Ghost Bros Gaming. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Justin at Cape Fear Collectibles. He is going to give us a deck profile for his 60 card branded tier limit bestial pile. Yeah. Or whatever you call uh, it. This yeah. is like the post pot fusion pile uh, inspired by Cam Neal's list from Pasadena. Um, so. I get started. Uh, best normal summon in the deck, uh, Keeper of Dragon Magic. Um, on summon, this discards a card to add a polymerization or a normal uh, fusion spell. So this searches both branded fusion and instant fusion, so it gets you access to both engines. Uh, it's also a dragon, so you could search this during the end phase with Magnamute. Um, and then other normal summon, uh, two Aluber. Um, we don't want to draw too many normal summons, so I'm just playing the five. Uh, you get to this off of opening, so it's fine. Uh, and then just the one Tragedy and the one Dramaturge. Uh, Tragedy's really just here for Branded Fusion. Uh, sometimes you need a Branded Fusion send Tragedy for Lubellion. Uh, and Dramaturge over Adlib because uh, Branded and Red and Branded Banishment are basically never resolving uh, into tier, so I'm just not playing those cards. Um, but this is a significantly better card. Uh, you can set opening with Albion and then use this as an interruption against tier when they summon Kikalos. Um, so that's it for the Despias, and then uh, two Fallen of Albaz. Uh, you have to play two because if one gets bestialed, uh, the entire branded engine is shut off. So, and then uh, the one Albion uh, as the only high spirits target, um, and then for the bestials, uh, three Magnamut, uh, three Saranir, uh, three Druus Worm, and two Lubellion. Um, you don't necessarily want to draw Lubellion. Uh, the rest of these are obviously very good, um, and they have a lot more synergy with the branded engine than the tier stuff, but um, two Lubellion's fine. Like, sometimes you need to branded fusion for a light twice, um, and drawing it's not the worst thing ever, but you would really rather draw the other nine. Uh, then for the tier cards, uh, three Shaylin, three Havness, <laughs> Three Merly, uh, one Rhino Heart. Um, I don't even really want to play Rhino Heart, to be completely honest. Um, it loses really hard to Bestial, um, and it plays into Havness. Uh, but you kind of have to play it, because uh, because we're playing 60. Um, Merly's, like, grabbing Merly and milling 8, we're often not hitting a name. Um, so sometimes you just, like, have to grab Rhino Heart to, yeah, to get access to your Roll Colos. Um, and then uh, three King of the Swamp, uh, both to search Polly and also um, to make uh, some cards in the extra deck. Um, yeah, pretty standard at this point. And then uh, the one Emerald Tort Tortoise because we are playing uh, Rainbow Bridge. Uh, so that's it for monsters. Uh, for spells, uh, we have three Planet, uh, one Terraforming, one Instant Fusion for the tier stuff. Incredibly standard, nothing to say about this. Uh, then for the branded cards, three branded fusion, uh, three opening, three high spirits, uh, one regained, and one feeder. Um, feeder's in here mostly because of Rainbow Bridge. Um, sorry. You uh, it's mostly in here because of Rainbow Bridge. Um, there are some cool lines that you can do um, where you grab this instead of planet if you've already got access to its tier name. Um, and then you use Theater as Polly with the Tortoise and the Tier name to make Kit Kalos, and then you trigger the Tier Engrave. Um, and also, just having like a searchable fusion spell off of a Luber um, helps making Guardian Chimera going second. Um, so I think this is fine. This also makes Terraforming into Polly if you like really need it, so I think these are fine. Um, and then High Spirits uh, with the Tier cards is obviously very good, um, but it's also very good with uh, the Bistials because you. Uh, you get to send Saranir, um, and then Saranir uh, dumps a branded spell, and you grab Albion and you dump Retribution. So this basically tutors branded fusion, um, and it also puts Albion in the graveyard, so you get a search during the end phase, which is pretty good. Uh, and then the rest of the spells, uh, three foolish goods for the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, it can also send Seliac to search a tier name, um, and it can also uh, send branded Retribution, to grab any of the branded spells that you've milled. Uh, so this card does a lot. Uh, and then just the one poly to search off of King of the Swamp. Um, and then for traps, I'm on two Rainbow Bridge. Um, the only reason I'm not playing one is because if I uh, draw the one with Foolish Goods, 
Uh, Nick's hand's really awkward, and drawing it isn't terrible. Uh, you play 12 cards in the deck that can discard it. Um, so, you know, it's often live if you draw it. And then just uh, the one Sullyic, the one Branded Beast, and the one Branded Banishment. Or, sorry, Retribution. Um, Retribution is really good in this deck. Um, you're milling a lot of cards. Your opponent is often milling you. Um, so Retribution is both a good target to set off of Albion and also um, lets you grab any of your Branded Spell Traps yeah. back from the deck for follow-up. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. 60 cards uh, for the... You don't find the, the lack of Ishizu cards? I guess you got more Bestials, right? So you kind of have the tier counter that way. So, yeah, so playing 9 Bestials in 60 is the same as playing 6 in 40, statistically. Mm -hmm. um, so you have, like, the same chance to open the Bestials uh, as, the, as most of the tier mm -hmm. lists do. Um, the Ishizu cards do definitely hurt. Um, there's really just, unfortunately, no room for them in this deck. And um, the branded engine gives you like a little bit better of a grind game if you do get stopped by the Ishizu cards. Um, so having like extra lines of play um, kind of helps you play through them a little bit. Uh, so extra deck uh, for the branded stuff: uh, one Mirror Jade, uh, two Albion, one Lubellion, one Alba Um This is like the bare minimum. Uh, you can't really play any less, but there's not really room for more either. Uh, you can put all these back fairly easily. Um, the cool thing about Abelandidus is it searches uh, instant fusion in the end phase, so uh, this is follow-up for either side of the deck, which is pretty good. Um, then uh, double Masquerade and one Quertus. Uh, Quertus doesn't come up that often. You could probably cut this for something else, uh, maybe like a second Mirror Jade or something. Um, but Double Masquerade, uh, you can end on this pretty regularly, um, especially because like opening pitch a tier, uh, you summon a Luber and you go a Luber 1, the tier name 2, uh, you grab Branded Fusion and then you put the tier, the tier Engrave and the Luber on field back to make Masquerade. Um, so yeah, so you can make this and then like, then you don't have to side cards for time either because you just make Double Masquerade mm -hmm. and the there's no time card that's playing through paying 1200 for everything. Uh, for the tier stuff, one kit, uh, one roll colos, uh, and one Kaleido heart. Again, like, it's like the bare minimum. Uh, I would like to maybe find a room for a second kit. Maybe that's what the Quartus could come out for. Um, but yeah. And then the rest of the stuff is kind of utility. Uh, so Grafa for the King of the Swamp. Um, this also has like a lot of extra application in this deck um, because you can use it to get like things like Dramaturge out of hand uh, and then trigger Dramaturge to summon him. Uh, it also like can unbrick if you draw like a bunch of Bastilles. You can use the Bastilles in a King of the Swamp to fuse. Um, or like if you branded Fusion and set a tier name uh, and the tier gets banished by a Bastille, you can use Lubellion to put back King of the Swamp in the tier to make this. Um, so you get value even when your cards are banished. Uh, and then one Dragostepelia, pretty standard. Uh, one Guardian Chimera. This card is the best card in the extra deck. <laughs> like, by insane. far and away, yeah, this card's insane. Um, Polly being able to use the tier names or the Bistids or the branded stuff, like, you can pretty much summon this every time you're going second. Um, this card breaks boards like crazy. Um, yeah, it's just very good. And then this is kind of a flex spot, but Mud Dragon's really good into the tier matchup. Uh, turn turn off their kit Kylos a lot of the time, um, and sometimes you have like some awkward hands where you have like a bisted and a tear, and you need a way to like trigger the tear effect in grave, so you make this with the bisted, and then you can trigger the tear. Uh, and then for the side deck, um, I've got uh, three Ghost Bell. Um, this is for going first or second into tier. Uh, this it turns off the Ishizu cards. Uh, it can stop the Bistids to protect Branded Fusion. Um, it's just got a lot of utility into the tier matchup. Uh, three Book of Eclipse. Um, so I, I, I haven't seen a lot of people playing this, but this card is very good into flu because uh, it it just turns off the Barrier Statue in the M Pen. Uh, but additionally, it's very good into tier. Um, especially as people are moving away from playing Baron. Um, this cannot be interrupted by Grafa because Grafa only hits normal spell traps. Mm. Um, so you can Book of Eclipse them 
and it uh, turns off the traps as well because they have to control a tier monster for the traps to be live. Uh, so the only real counterplay they have to this is exactly crime, um, and a lot of players um, prioritize like grabbing Merly off of kit to mill and get their engine going, and not grabbing crime. Um, so like if you can, if they don't have crime, then this just like auto wins the matchup. But if they do have crime, you can bait it with like a branded fusion and then uh, eclipse them. Um, then uh, two talents. Uh, this is for, again, for pretty much everything. I almost want to main deck this. There's just not really space for it. Uh, three Twin Twisters um, into Flunder. Flunder is... Flunder. It's a, it's a rough matchup. Uh, but if you twin them in the draw phase, uh, you turn off the trap and the field spell. Uh, and then you can just normal summon anything, beat over the statue, and start playing in second main. Um, so along the same lines, uh, three Lightning Storm. Uh, you just have to have cards that deal with Flunder going second. Uh, and then the one crime for going first, uh, you side out the Celiac. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, anything else you want to say? Any shout-outs? Uh, how's the deck been performing? Uh, I've only been playing it for like a week or two, uh, so it's you know I'm still working on it. Uh, it performs surprisingly well. Uh, I was pretty skeptical when I started putting it together, um, but it's incredibly consistent. I, I don't think I've bricked a single time. Um, Shout-out to, like I said, Cam Neal for the inspiration behind the list, and uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks for the deck profile. See you all later.